Part number one was about lust. Lust for love. Loving lust. And part number two was the concept of love. And understanding. And understanding the concept of love. Number three is a part two. Lessons of lust, discovering love, and the experiences of this thing we call life. This is called sitting on the curb. I was riding my bicycle to the bank the other day. When I come across a scene, we ignore it along the way. The content of somebody's home sitting on the boulevard. All their memories were. Bed, broken dresser, and unread books. Dirty laundry, unpaid bills, and neighbors' dirty looks. So as I'm walking on my way back home, I look and I say, My friend, you're not alone because I saw someone's life today sitting on a took their things without a word. They were late again with the monthly bills. So let them put their lives into the curb in the woods. He went to job seeking, learned to drive a truck. Tried his damnedest to make it. He was laid off a stroke of the luck. Last night looked him in the eye, said, I don't give a fuck. They were a family number this Mom and dad struggled to feed their baby. They were out of luck. Came home late again, he was shit faced. Hadn't seen his family in a drunken month. I'm so sorry, I just want to talk. She said, I had enough of you, and I changed the locks. You know that we are through, and I called the He was 16 years old, always in constant pain. Always in constant grief, going against the grain. His parents tried so hard, but it wasn't me. And when they were tired of him, they tossed his like a Landlord took the things with dirty wood. They fell again with the earth and wind. So the landlord took the lies into the curbed wind. So the landlord took the lies into the curbed wind. I saw someone's hurt the face of the maker. Some of the many ways.
this next song is based on hate and people's perceptions of what they will or will not accept in society. Based on a true story, you can look it up on the internet. And the more you look at it, the funnier it gets. And they threw me that bed just to get him. Was a self inflicted deprivation. Because the original Nazi was Hitler, he's a vegan in his nation. in their eyes and the next time you heard of them they were serving the fries and the more you look at it the funnier it gets and the more you look at it the less they have any regrets and the more you look at it and the more you look at it Grandma came to live with us for five years, then 
she said that her time was good. Well, the growth was always there, but it was once too late. That's how Grandma met her final fate. She met Grandpa at the pearly gates. I saw Grandma one final time. She said one day her china would be mine. Then she told me of how it had come into her life. The day she became Grandpa's wife. Yes, the day she became Grandpa's wife. Well, the china, it went to my mom. Since this happened when I was still young. Then later in life, when I had settled down, it was my turn. And it carries the weight of me. So I built a cabinet on the south wall. It's a special place that can hold it all. Now the China's story is forever cast as I'm carrying my ancestors' past. Yes, I'm carrying. My ancestors passed. Yes, I'm carrying my ancestors passed. This one here is an adult memories. So next Sunday morning, while you're drinking your coffee, talking about the people that you wave to and see, in that basement lives a junkie upstairs, not my mother. They spend their afternoon screaming at each other. Next door they lay hand for them they pray. Their children run off to foreign lands. They run away. That one's a flanderer. Screams and whips a whore. She breaks down crying. She wants a divorce. So next Sunday morning when you're shit talking your neighbors, be kind with your words. Turning the favor. She's as kind as one year when I fought. Everybody knew her for books and blocks. And when she come into town, we would talk and talk and they're a part of that gus machine. They all like to spread around what they've seen. Oh, yeah. They all said she was monkey's pet, but they ain't seen the best of it yet. For her and a monk got married and they got no regret. They're all part of that cosmos sheep. They all like to spread around what they've seen. This is my favorite verse. Her head stuck in a tree, of course. Serves her right, they said, with no remorse. And they're all part of that cost machine. They all like to spread around what they've seen, oh yeah. She took her elephant to the county fair. And that elephant played with people's hair. And that annoyed elephant was still there. Spread around what they've seen, oh yeah. She's as cunning as a one year, one eye fox. And when that monkey rode that horse through town, they were shocked. And that annoying elephant still picks their logs. And they're a part of that cosmic machine. They all 
what they spread around, what they see, oh yeah. Spread around what they've seen, oh yeah. Peace renew. song of this show is about convictions people's judgment of those of us who have had them it's called everybody's talking <laughs> Joking, 
listening to them just gets on my nerves, but I am wise beyond my years, because I no longer use your ears to hear, I am wise beyond my years, because I no longer share your feelings. Everybody talks about my choices. No one knows it could be worse. They shout at me with their voices, trying to hurt me with their words. But I am wise beyond my years because I no longer speak what you do. I am wise beyond my years. I no longer share your fears with you. Everybody talks about my drinking. No one knows about my thirst. They all think that they are thinking. Respond with love and they soon miss but I am wise beyond my years because I no longer share your fears with you. I am wise beyond my years.